Let's see, restarting. We'll make things better. Okay. Now the screen's back. So what part did it not capture? Let me check something real quick. Oh, it looks like it didn't get the uh, Leviosa part. Oh no. Well, that sucks. Yeah, part of it did some reason the last... Oh wait, no, it play, it's playing part of it. Yeah, that is weird. Okay, well, we're back live now. That's unfortunate. It missed, like, a good, maybe... Well, at least the class, for some reason. That sucks. So, anyway, um... Not sure why I didn't record that part. <laughs> it, like, just stopped. But now it's working fine. It Very weird. Okay. Well, nothing's... I, I, luckily, I caught it early, because that would have sucked to keep going. <laughs> oh, man. Missing the rest of that? Oh, jeez. Okay. So we got the other class to go to. Play unavailable. What? Did not? Oh, did I not finish here? Something else to do? Oh, I probably got taught teacher or something. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. You drilled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. Revelio. That's a lock. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Um. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck, or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. Yeah, okay, that's what it was. Level two. And apparently getting that is a rare achievement for some reason. <laughs> I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Is it already unlocked? Revelio. Why are you not unlocked? Supposed to unlock. Huh. Where's the chest? The chest. Might be below the stairs or something. Huh. Anyway, let's go to charge class. Just right up there. What tea? Yeah, I swear. Okay, I just wonder if I should go this way. 
this way and run the other way. Revelio. In the pressure? would do wonders for you if it's not too late oh thank you you're right about what that you can flush the toilet why no <laughs> why not what the heck <laughs> don't flush that one though <laughs> Revelio. What's that other chest? Oh, it's gotta be on the other. What are you up See, to now? Oh, um, nothing. Nothing, nothing at all. Oh, it's one of these! Man. Yeah, I'm guessing you had to sneak up. Hold your secrets for now. Really can what the heck? Oh, another one! Man, you just taking the deuce. Man, water shoot up like that, man. That would suck! Wait, hold on, what's this? Rebellion. So this is his house. Uh, I thought I uh, saw so a chest in here. What the? Door was too? Oh, hey, Professor. Don't mind me, I'm going to just turn it. Yes. Hey, there's a chest over here. Crimson winter coat. Hold on. Side quests are now available. Sweet. What do they look like? Do a charge class first. Um, go to inventory. That's the full thing. Right. And on gear. Oh, that's a nice coat. Okay. Wait, did that give a boost or anything? Oh, offense. Yeah. Its value is superb. So what's well appointed is green. Blues are superb. And it's got upgrade slots? Okay. Yeah! Out here finding good gear. Yeah! Let's go! Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't put on them, uh... Not inventory. I keep going to inventory. Gear. Those gloves. Didn't I... Well, those, they're not the same gloves for that other thing, right? The challenges, actually. Yeah. Wait, that's an appearance reward. Huh. Maybe that's different than actual gear. So I, oh, yep, it is. So change appearance. There you go, okay. Cool. Does that work? Yeah, it works with anything. What? Oh, so that's where the dark art stuff is. Ooh! Um... Yeah! Do, do that. 
So now I can do that with anything? Yep. What does that look like? On another Twice. adventure, are we? Yup. Yeah. Rebellion. Is that top of one? Or is it below me? Or is it above me? This place seems like you can easily get lost in. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Some of us don't necessarily want him to get back to the lesson. What is that? Why are you inside the book, cat? And you can pet the cat. Revelio. Pet all the cats. There you Enough. go again. You'll get us all detention. Oh, and you're both wrong anyway. It was Dang. Professor's gore. It wasn't boots and it wasn't black, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black. There's <laughs> a goof. I adore playing with the chat. Here, behind you, there is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well... It seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. 
Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Akio. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree, hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> so why don't we have our newest student start us off, hmm? Very simply, cast Akio on one of the spheres and remove the charm at the last. Splendid! Now, think of this like gobstones. Excellent control there. Very good. Very good. Points to Hufflepuff. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues, just as before. And Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Let us do this. Huh? There we go. Right. Akio. Yeah. Yeah. She's gonna beat me. Dang! That is how it's done. I can consistently get 20. Here we go. Don't do another 50, please. Oh, man. Yes. Oh, my, I can't win. I can't. Yay, I, I got killed. I lost badly. Let's make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. What's this? Oh wait, their ball got knocked Let off. Us see this. Huh. That 
That is how it's done. Good, both of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can use Akio on humans. A word, if, if you would. Blind. Well, you'd be using it on You wanted to speak with me, Professor. You. I did. You know it won't work. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor. Though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Rebellion. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Hello. You wanted to speak to me? Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day's going well. 
You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. <laughs> I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. So far, I haven't seen a door that doesn't work. That is so cool. There's been stuff that was locked, which means it works later. And I don't know if it's my level that locks it. What the? Let me open. Woo! Lumos. Let me slow down or something. What are you doing? Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Keep going up? What the heck? What, what is this up here? Oh, no. There goes Peeves again. What is he doing? What's up, Al? How you doing? And it still goes up. <laughs> Dang. So now you get to look. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Uh, 
Um, all right, let's see. We got Weasley after class. Okay. Track it and uh, as well fast travel. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details. Mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now! Regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's Potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asks that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Oh, I get to pick. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Rebellion.
what they're talking about with their chest. This is above me. Oh well. Mm. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Reparo. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Ropero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience. And these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Revelio. Knock out the couple of them. Okay. Let's see. I can look at the collection. I have to go challenge. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Accio! Got it. What's this? Rebellion. Uh, just water. <laughs> I saw something shimmer. I'm like, ah, what's going on over here? Nah, just water. <laughs> A flying page must be around here somewhere. Bring it. Are you all right? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak, the girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Everyone hates you? Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone... Perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. Haven't you any friends at school? Not really. Natty said hello once, but not a word since. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time.
Oh, wait, they tell you where they are? Challenges in reach. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Revelio. One of oh. Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Well, if we can do it, then screw it. So I thought it was something like you gotta get some other type of spell, but. <laughs> Better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Huh? What's that? Now I gotta go up there. Natty's mom? Can you talk to her? Not currently. Revelio. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before. Accio! Revelio! Am I supposed to put the missing ones in there? Oh, to make the number, I'm guessing? So... Maybe? Can I see that again? Oh, it's gone now. Uh, I guess I had to go to collections to take a look at it. Let's see. Oh wait, are they in order? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think they are in order. So, 
three I need a three, three. Does that make so what do you need? Is it a plus system? Because like this one only needs three on the bottom if it's zero one three four, I'm guessing. But that one needs seven, which it sucks because they're both on the right. Oh wait, this was the double, huh? Ah, okay. So this one just needs to be seven. Which is the uh I'm not sure what that is. That's, uh, that's six. There you go. Is there certain what the hell is that one? Quarter? No, that's five. Wait, no, that's four, because it's zero counts. That one's six. Spider is... eight. Huh. Oh, wait, there's a... Oh, I didn't notice this. I'm silly. That, that was... That, that one's already there. That one's, what, three? Yeah, so two, three. You only need, um... I need the, uh, the lizard. Ha! Almost got the, the numbers wrong. Hold up. This thing's gotta be here something. Switch the appearance later. For now. Ooh, I actually kinda like the silver. Um it's not an inventory. Challenge? Maybe. Oh, it's gonna bug me because I, I saw the thing and now it's got Let it go! 